The president is under fire this week from both the left and the right. And, of course, there's that controversy about whether or not he deserved an honorary degree at Arizona State because his body of work had not earned it. President Obama had a message for graduates of Arizona State University. I come here not to dispute the suggestion that I haven't yet achieved enough in my life. I come to embrace the notion that I haven't done enough in my life. There's always more to do, always more to learn, and always more to achieve. Hey, Obama! Yes, we can! And some protesters had a message for him as well. And these disappointed liberal activists are not the only ones. The ACLU is downright angry that President Obama did a 180 and decided to fight the release of photographs depicting alleged detainee abuse abroad. It only confirms that the Obama administration's promise of transparency and accountability is essentially meaningless. And the president's right flank is under fire as well. Anti-abortion Notre Dame students are protesting the honorary degree their school is this Sunday giving the president, who supports abortion rights and who lifted the ban on federally funding embryonic stem cell research, including in this highly produced video. Bestowing an honor on him is equal to bestowing an honor to those policies, which are in direct contradiction to Catholic teaching. Catholic religious leaders are also upset, but graduating senior Gary Burke tells us via Skype that most of his fellow students are excited about the president's presence. Abortion aside, that I don't think that's the that's not the main issue, the fact that he's coming to speak to us and give us our commencement speech and send us off onto the next part of our life is something that I'm really going to cherish. Now, White House sources say that the reason for the president's about face on the release of those detainee abuse photographs be is because of some very passionate lobbying by generals who said the release of those photographs would inflame anti-U.S. sentiment and put troops in harm's way.